Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to fix AMD RX 6900 XDXH graphics on Mac OS. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. Before doing anything, let me show you the card is being detected as AMD Radeon Navi 21. Currently, 6900 XT cards of the XTX variant work fine under Mac OS Big Sur and later. However, the XDXH variant of the 6900 XT, such as the PowerColor RX 6900 XT Ultimate and Sapphire Toxic RX 6900 XT Extreme Edition are not natively supported in Mac OS. Apple also states that only Radeon RX 6900 XT models made or sold by AMD are supported with device ID 0 into 73BF. As of now, you can see that the current device ID is 0 into 73AF. To fix these kinds of cards, you'll need Hack and Tool to find the device path of the graphics, OC auxiliary tools, or any program to edit plist file, open core package, for sample ACPI, IO reg, to find the GPU path address, and Mac IASL for editing the SSDT.DSL file. Now place the SSDTBRG0, in any convenient place, from the open core package, under the source folder. Now, open the DSL file using Mac IASL, and then open IO Reg Explorer. Now scroll and look for the GFX0 node. And here you'll have the full device path address. Now you'll need to replace the predefined device path address in SSDT from your device path address. Replace the address as shown. After replacing the predefined device path address, close IO reg, and save the SSDT as AML file, after compiling. After getting the AML file, mount your ESP, and place the SSDT in the ACPI folder under EFI's OC folder. After placing the SSDT, open your config plist, and then add the entry of placed SSDT. After adding the entry, go to the DP tab, and here you'll need to add an entry of the device path under PCI list. To get the device path, open Hack and Tool, and then go to PCIe section, and then select the VGA or Display Controller device, and copy the device path as shown. After copying the device path, add the entry, under the PCI list. 
After adding the entry, add the key with the following values. After adding the key, also make sure that you're using latest whatever green and lilo text. Now save the config plist, and restart your machine, and during restart, reset the NVRAM ones. And now after restarting, you can see, that the graphics is working as expected, now let me show you more info under system information, here you can see that the device ID is 0 into 73 BF, and metal support is also working. Let me just show you that H.264, and HEVC is also available. So that was it, AMD RX 6900 XDXH is working perfectly as expected, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.